Hi friends, how are you? Today I have a video, obviously, of some books. I didn't have any particular theme in mind this week because I didn't get any new inventory. Good and bad problem to have. So instead, I just went on my shelves and I picked out 25 things at random um, that I just wanted to show you. So I have 25 books. I'm going to turn this camera around and show you. And of course, everything that I'm going to show you or almost everything will be available on the website to purchase. And you can find that link in the description for this video. All right. First up is Better Homes and Gardens Favorite Houseplants and How to Grow Them. This is from 1976. Beefsteak, begonia all kinds of lovely plants in here. Rubber plant and fiddle leaf fig, still very popular, probably more popular now than it was back then. Super fun. There we go. All right, next, Ian Fleming's Thrilling Cities. This book is so cool. So Ian Fleming, look at that nice spine, very handsome, creator of um, James Bond. So here's his cities. Hong Kong, Macau, Tokyo, Honolulu, LA, etc. This is from 1964. A look behind the scenes of the world's most fabulous places. Okay, next, I've got a bird book here. James Fisher and Roger Tory Peterson's World of Birds. New and revised, 192 full color plates in here go. Let's just flip open to a random page. Lovely drawings. Ooh. Birds of the past. That's nice. Distribution of birds. So that's very nice. I have another bird book here. It is right inside. So let's open it up. Nice illustration right in the beginning. Menabonese birds. Let's see. This one looks like it's more black and white inside. Oh, here's the color section. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Eastern bluebird. Nice snowy egret, morning dove, really lovely. So nice, I'm glad I found that one. Okay, coming up now, something totally different. Michael Todd's Around the World in 80 Days, Almanac, the story of the world's most honored show. So look at this inside. All these reviews of the, the show, Around the World in 80 Days. This looks like it's from 1956. Content. See it now around Mike Todd and 80 moods. Do it yourself, etc. etc. This is really cool. There's some scenes. First with the most. Edward R. Murrow. Never found that one before. That's pretty cool. Alright, I've got two Scribner libraries here, the old man and the sea. And the Sun Also Rises, both by Ernest Hemingway. I love those, they're very handsome. Then this one I showed on Instagram um, recently, and I just really love it because of the illustration. So this is First Aid Textbook for Juniors from the American Red Cross from 1953. And the illustrations in here are just fantastic. Problems and things to do. Look at the snakes. Tying knots. All kinds of fun illustrations. Love that one. Okay, then, totally different. The Pooh Cookbook, inspired by Winnie the Pooh and the House at Pooh Corner. Look how darling it is inside. Oh, it's so sweet. Got some ink there. This is from 1969. Ginger ale and ice cream, fairy toast, colored honey, watercress sandwiches, pea bean alphabet soup, cobble, cobblestone pie, 
cherry pie, pink honey buttercream frosting, honey chocolate ice cream, Christmas specialties, Christmas honey wafers, Christmas nut cookies. Isn't that fun? And then this one I think I also showed on Instagram, but it is just illustrated so wonderfully. It's fun to make pictures. So this is an art book for children. And it is from 1972. Just look at these illustrations. Learning to look. Life-size portrait of your friend. Simple portrait painting. Painting on material. Stenciling. Printing with odds and ends. I mean, this book is amazing. Potato printing. So cool. Isn't that great? All right. We're going to move on to the next pile I have here. This is 57 Stories of Saints for Boys and Girls. is from 1963. Nice sturdy book. And then this one is really pretty. Captain Kid's Cow. Look at the inside. 1941. Roaring Maine. So nice little pirate book. Then this one, Uncle Remus story. So stories from Uncle Remus. This one is a little bit damaged. Let's see. Looks like it's from 1934. There's Blair Rabbit and Calamus Root. Look at that lovely illustration. The Tar Baby story, of course. Mr. Fox tackled Old Man Terrapin. Beautiful illustrations. Why Possum Has No Hair on His Tail. Isn't that lovely? So it's got some damage, but really pretty illustrations. This one, too, is very nicely illustrated. Daniel Boone. This is also 1930s, 1939. So this is a biography. Another children's book coming up, Augustus and the Mountains by Lagrand. Also very distinctive illustration style. 1941. Very nice. Next we have this children's book, which is very cool, Through the Magnifying Glass, Little Things That Make a Big Difference, 1954, second printing. So it talks about all different kinds of little itty bitty things in nature and, and um, analyzing them, sap on legs, year marks on trees. Drawing. This is such an interesting book. Seeing sound. Press a flat piece of clay against the record. Very cool. I love that. All right, next. I think this is a very handsome book. The Epic of Man. Special Deluxe Golden Book Edition. This is from 1962. fun for a kid to look through on a rainy day and this one too the wonders of life on earth this is also a special deluxe golden book put out by time uh, by life magazine this one is from 1960 look at those illustrations these animals so nice love that one okay another animal book this one here is called an album of southern birds 1953 very nice 
fun children's book coming up. The modern storybook. Look at this beauty. Oh, goodness. That's so gorgeous. This is 1941 edition. Look at how beautiful that illustration is. Look at the dirigible. Hmm. The stubborn dirigible, that story is called. Oh, it's beautiful. The runaway elevator. So nice. All right. I better pick up the pace here. This fun book is called Home Guidance for Young Children. A parent's handbook. 1934. Education Aspects of a Child's Everyday Living. Eating, eating Sleeping, Toileting, Play. It's an illustration. Nursing and Weighing a Baby. How to Carry a Baby. Diapering. The Adult's Attitude, Toileting, Play. Learning to Live with Other People. Then we have this lovely Hansel and Gretel. I think this is really pretty inside. This is 1944. Look at that illustration. Isn't that ador adorable? So cute. Okay. What to do when there's nothing to do. A mother's handbook. 601 tested play ideas for young children. Look at that. How cute. Let's just flip through this one really quick. Tasting. Stringing. The fall guy. A special doll. Outdoors. All kinds of fun stuff for kids to do. Charles Dickens Works. Nice antique book. I bet this one doesn't have a date. They often don't. Oh, A Child's History of England. That's what this one is. Lovely. Okay, we've got two more. T.S. Eliot's Selected Essays. This is just a nice, simple black book. This is from 1950. Dante, John Ford, Thomas Middleton, Ben Jonson, Shakespeare, Seneca, a dialogue of dramatic poetry, Lancelot, through Thoughts af After Lambeth. Okay, last book, and this one is so fun. This is from the 1920s, and it is The Home Educator, Early Childhood, This is definitely about teaching children the basics before uh, giving them a good solid foundation. Look at that. Beautiful. The kindergarten. Cookie faces for Halloween of orange food coloring frosting. Chart made to guide the child while her mother was away for home, from home for a month. Teaching table manners. Safety first habits. Later childhood. Young children. The young child in his learning. And we have little boys can make these wooden toys. Little girls milliner. And school days. So sweet. This is my favorite book of the fall. It is definitely damaged, so it's, it's loose and wobbly there. So just keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed that grab bag. And if you saw anything you liked, just remember you can find the link right here in the um, video description and go and see if that book is available for purchase on the website. I hope to get some more inventory this week. And if so, you guys will be the first to see it, obviously, uh, my newsletter subscribers. And you can find the link to join the newsletter too if you're not already um, in the description. Okay, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.